Edward, bro. So how's your, I know you've been crushing it over these past three months now. We've been working together and I've been managing you as like my, my setter almost. Could you just, just tell me how, how these past three months have been, bro? Yeah, so this, these past few months have been um, pretty, I would say, developing in a sense, because when I first started, um, unless you were a very experienced setter in the offer that I'm in right now, you, would, you wouldn't know what to do, right? But because I was able to help get guidance, get coaching, and get, get some type of like, um, what's the word called? Uh, help to be able to move forward from where I am when I started to like one to 10 scale. Like the beginning, I was like one, I was so nervous that I didn't know what to do to where I'm at now is like basically a 10. Like I'm confident enough to know, like if you said, Hey, look, I need you to set real quick on this account and stuff like that. Like it, it becomes second nature compared to the first time where I was like, uh, do I use chat GPT to create a template? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, and now it's like, that. that's like the scale of like how well, the development from three months is from getting coaching from you basically happen um yep. especially like getting feedback yeah that's awesome um so i was yeah i was thinking of questions as well and i was thinking of questions as well i think the one that sticks out bro is what would it look like what would it what would it have looked like if you if i hadn't been in your corner well i don't i'm always going to be in your corner right but just being yeah. like this close in your corner and you have to figure it out mostly how would how would that have been yeah i know i actually thought about this when i when i first jumped on this offer and it was like very i was so nervous um i yeah, had, think i had i was so nervous i was about to be like hey, maybe i should leave the offer because am i wasting my time that that type of mindset and yeah. i had to think ahead i was like how am i gonna get to three months of this because i had a timeline too he was like we need to test you out to see if you're good right i was like what's the fastest way to learn how to set? If I didn't have a coach or like someone to be able to lean to, the first thing I was going to go was go on YouTube, chat GPT, and then go on like other uh, coach, uh, other um, Instagram people that are setters. But the thing is, you, yeah. wouldn't, you wouldn't learn from them because you're like, you're not putting it all together, right? You're learning little pieces from them. Yeah. So I would have been like, so, I would have been lost, to be honest, um, if that was the case. Yeah. And uh, it would have taken me three months because I learned how to be confident, it would have taken me six months just to even get to that first three months. And I was still wouldn't have been confident. I've been like, is this right yeah. or wrong? Too many trial and error testings. So Yeah. Like and who knows if you would have still been on that offer, you know. So Yeah, I would I'd be honest, I don't even know. <laughs> yeah. You don't know, but uh yeah, I'm glad I'm glad it's been helpful, bro. It's been uh it's been a blast over these couple months. Um it, it literally I find most of it is just maintenance well teaching you new stuff one more yeah teaching you new stuff especially in the beginning but a lot of it's like maintenance making sure you're like you're kept on the straight path everything's good not just with with the setting side of things but also like up here right so mm -hmm. um i guess the long term where what's going on there where do you see yourself yeah so long, long long term um i saw that this is something that i wanted to um, kind of pursue more um and the only reason why I was able to make that decision was proof of concept, because basically you were able to show me that, right? If I wasn't able to make money in this, it wouldn't make sense. But at the same yeah. time, you were able to show me that it was doable by myself, right? I wasn't, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna be if I had to figure that out by myself. Um, I would have second, still right now, would have doubted myself or had second, uh, second, oh, second question myself, because I'd be like, dude, I don't even know if this is the right thing I'm doing, but I mean, it's working. But it's very different when you're learning from someone who's done all of it, is who's basically you know, yep. walked in the, walked in the rain and can say, yeah, this is part of progress. Like you said, it's, it's a little mindset, right? Um, and you're saying that you can do more with this. That's why I was like thinking long-term, like if this is where I can get to right, right now within three months, yep. what can I do in six months or nine months? Assuming that, you know, I continue the path. And so I think yep. that, that's like the mindset. Yeah, and it's funny you say that because this was literally my old offer I was on. So yeah, no, yeah. Who, there's no better person to be guiding you on this offer than me off to my own horn but it's like i was literally on that offer so i kind of know kind of learned the ins and outs so all i have to do is kind of pass the torch to you but then up until this day up until this point now you spent longer time in the offer than i did so and you're making great progress so uh when you were scared in the beginning though like what was it really was it just like afraid of or nervous maybe not scared but were you just nervous 
whether and, and like I'm sure you were making the right decisions, even down to like the micro decisions of that last little bit, or is it something else? Was it was it literally just that? Yeah, it was it was basically like the micro decisions. Um basically like I didn't know if this so was you not wanting to mess up. Yeah, yeah, it was, it's it's like the whole per perfection mentality. Like um, when you jump into something, I should know how to do it, right? I I didn't know how to do it. Um, so I was I was scared to mess up. I was overcomplicating it. And where you came in, yeah. where you were like, you're just certain. It's like don't don't think it too much. <laughs> I was like, telling I was telling you to chill out. I have to tell you <laughs> yeah, to chill you, out. Just yeah, like, you had to tell me to chill out. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, do I almost send the wrong message? You're like, bro, just shoot your shot. Like, it's okay. You can send another message right after. It's not like so I say anything yeah. bad. And I was like, you're right. No. Yeah, bro. It's what, I, it's what we were talking about earlier about abundance. Because you're yeah. maybe back then you were so zoomed in on like every little micro problem. And if you just zoom yeah, out and yeah. just focus on on principles, because principles never change, tactics do. You're probably like two tactics tactics focused back then and like two zoomed in on, on like the, every little thing. But yeah. you just have to zoom out and you have to focus on principles. Because principles are going to work no matter what. And if you yeah. zoom out, if you know that, I know the lead's always going to come through if you're thinking in abundance and there's always going to be someone who's a better fit, then you're going to speak it into existence and you are going to, you are going to get more leads. You're going to book more polls. You're going to get more commission and everyone's going to be happy. So I kind of had to, yeah. kind of had to uh, jam that out of your head. Uh, mm -hmm. I'd say, I'd say like kind of probably the last thing as well is through these whole three months, what do you think has been the most pivotal and like the most helpful part about all this? Of me helping you out, mentoring you, the calls. What, what do you think is the resources? Yeah, the 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 biggest thing is the mindset, uh, right? Um, mm. the the whole the whole job is technical and very simple, right? Yeah. Um, but the thing is, I wouldn't be able to understand that if you weren't able to communicate that mindset to me, right? Um, so the the biggest thing was like you telling me certain things to be able to be like, hey, look, this is how it's supposed to go. Um, you're overcoming this but that's normal, right? Um, like the, the little shifts that I had yeah, in transitions, I you, were, you were there basically saying move forward or here, let me reassure you, but keep moving forward. That's, yeah. that's the biggest thing. It's like every obstacle uh, I was overcoming, I did not I did not just over that, overcome that by myself. I'd be like, hey, Matt, today's not the day. And you're like, what's going on? Let's, let's check it out. And the next day, you know, I'm, I'm back on track. And, and then from there on, it's like, I wouldn't need to ask you anymore too much because you basically said, this is what it is. Yeah. Like, yeah, so yeah, that's, that's the biggest thing. You yeah. can't teach that though. So that's that's where you come in. I like, you can't teach that mindset. Yeah, bro. It's the my, my mindset is is it's tough to teach. It's, it's only gonna happen if some if we're doing like closely together. Um, yeah, and also like, I guess like I don't know. I guess I did a good job because I was, to be fair, bro, I was expecting like because we so we do calls like three times a week, you know, and. Yeah. I was expecting like every call for like a new problem to come up, but mm. I get like sometimes there's calls where it's just like we again we gotta keep going in a straight line. There's nothing new under the sun. Uh, yeah. So either there's not enough problems happening, which I guess is a good thing, or I I did my job and just like you cleared most of if not all the problems you were facing. So therefore, some of these calls we just didn't have to tackle anything new again. So I don't know. You tell me. No. It, it, it helps out because like you're very direct and then I'll be very direct with you, right? That's different if I was like yep. hiding the problem from you and saying, oh yeah, this wasn't the problem. Uh, We're good. We're good in the beginning. But in the very beginning, we, we made it clear. We were like very mutual saying like, if there's a problem, uh, like say it so I can like address it. And then I was willing to accept that on my end and be like, dude, Matt's here to help, right? Yep. So I will throw all my problems at you and then actually choose to learn and accept that he's just here with good intentions and I would apply it. So that's the big yeah. difference, right? Um, I didn't, I didn't like hide things from you or give you white lies, or or the problems would have shown up later. Yeah. Does that make yeah. sense? But I was like, do we use yeah. the tactic head on? So I was like, okay, that's that's why I was like working out. So. Yeah, I'm glad I made that clear because if you just, if you just like told white lies or if I told white lies, or, uh, we we put our problems and kick cans down the road, then that would have led to something much worse. Mm -hmm. But uh, thank God we, thank God we we set that expectation in the beginning. Um, yeah. But yeah, bro, I think last thing as well, you said you, I remember you saying in like, one of our calls, it's, you've gone through pretty much all my YouTube videos, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, 
but like we could have easily just gone and could have easily just gone and done that and relied on the YouTube videos. It's kind of like the first couple, first question or second question, but it's like, what do you think? Like, you could have, why didn't you just go and rely on the YouTube videos if you watch a little bit? And what, what do you think having me in the actual uh, corner has helped you? Yeah, no, that's a great question. So the reason why I didn't just watch YouTube videos is YouTube is for knowledge, right? Yeah. But and how I guess, do you learn how to... Sorry how to you learn how to, Oh, you're good. Sorry you're good. Off. No, because like I, another question just came up as well. It's like yeah. for, let's say like someone watching this, if they're just, they've been watching all the YouTube videos, like what would you mm -hmm. say to them then? Kind of like speaking from your experience. Yeah, no, 100%. So if I was like talking to someone, I would say that um, a book is useful only um, for what you know, right? But what a, what a coach does, very similar to any sport, any industry that requires it, is they teach you how to implement it, right? You can't ask a book for feedback, but you can ask a coach for feedback. If you do something wrong in the moment, you can say, hey, look, what did I do wrong? And how I can do that right. And that also, this applies to any sport activities. Anybody can relate to this, right? So watching YouTube videos is great. Now you know what to do, but do you know how to implement it? And that's where coaches have to come in. And that's where you came in because I had so many questions that I went on your YouTube for. And after I watched all YouTube videos, I was like, okay, I know all these stuff now. Now what do I do? <laughs> you know, I was but like, what do you do? <laughs> yeah. And they're good too. Like, bro, yeah. I get, I get, again, not to toot my own horn, but like, I get people, they are good. Like, I yeah, they are. make sure they're, they're, fucking, they're fucking valuable. And I get messages almost every day about, about the YouTube channel. Right. But as much as good as they are, Sometimes, like you said, you need someone in your corner to give you feedback. That's just how it is. Otherwise, you're going to stay stuck. Keep yeah. doing what you're doing. You're going to keep getting the same results you're getting. Right? So that, that was the biggest takeaway from me from watching all your YouTube videos versus having a one-on-one -on -one call, right? I can, I can ask you three questions, and then I improve 10 times. I can watch all 100 videos, as detailed as they are. I, I'm just like, how do I organize this? You know, what's yeah, the main yeah, point yeah, I got to yeah, get yeah. out of this? <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> That's probably why you were freaking out then. But uh Yeah, yeah. I told yeah. you right after too. I was like, I watched our YouTube videos. You're like, oh nice, nice. So what's your question? <laughs> I was like, I just asked you three and then that's all I needed. I was like, there you go. <laughs> oh man. Well, like, yeah, thanks for your time, bro. It's been a pleasure. Um we'll continue to make things happen moving forward. We've got we've got some plans coming up. Uh and yeah, anything else? Anything else you wanna you want to leave off on or? Uh, yeah, no, I, I would. The, well, the last thing I leave off on is so it's don't don't have ego to lean on a coach, right? It's you can only get so far by yourself. Um, but you can get you can get farther than you can than you know when you have a coach. That's basically it. Yeah. I appreciate it, man. Well, thanks for your time, bro. We're gonna keep we're gonna keep kidding it. I've got some big things. I know everyone says it, but like. You just talked about it prior to this, so like so some plans coming up. How we're gonna ramp this up even more on the offer, with your 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 setting, and uh, really just where you went ahead long term in, in the future. So I'm excited for that, bro. Um, and yeah, I appreciate you for everything. Thanks for being so coachable. Thanks for being super, like you said, direct and coming to me with the problems because it's my ultimate job to to go and fix it. You know, so. Mm -hmm. It's going to be hard to do that if someone doesn't share those things and just doesn't implement and take action and and, yep. and show up to and be consistent, which you have been. So anyways, bro, I appreciate you and I'm looking forward to, to many more. Awesome, man. No, I appreciate all the help, too. Thanks, all right, so. brother. All right, take care. Bye.